Hi there, I'm Java Jim, and today I'm going to give you the inside scoop on lever espresso machines. As you can see here, we have two espresso machines with a lever, and most people say, why should I get a lever? I can get a super automatic, a semi-automatic, or a fully automatic machine. The thing is, with a lever espresso machine, that's where you get true, authentic, quality, in-the-cup espresso uh, beverages, especially straight espresso. And there are two different lever espresso machines. One is with the spring piston, where you have the lever up on this nice, beautiful Electra. And another machine where you have no spring in the piston and the lever is down, uh, in the down position. And they both operate differently. So you have your group head, and this is actually from the Electra machine, which is nice and heavy. Uh, you have your uh, piston, a stem, and then you have your spring that basically supplies the force, pushing the piston down, uh, pushing the water through the coffee grinds to make your espresso. When there is no spring, you're actually pushing down with your uh, hand muscle or uh, arm muscle to push the piston down. And that's basically the difference between the two internally, is one has the spring inside and one doesn't. So the electric machine has a spring piston where you need to pull the lever down against the spring and then the spring brings the lever up while the piston inside is going down. And again, that's the spring that's inside that pushes the spring down. On the Olympia Cremina, a model we currently do not sell, we used to sell in the past. You basically, when you lift the lever up, it takes the piston up and then you bring the lever down and then it basically pushes the piston through the coffee grinds. Other models that are spring lever piston are the Ponte Vecchio Export, Ponte Vecchio Lusso, one and two group, as well as the Bezerra Strega. Uh, the Bezerra Strega uh, is actually a spring piston lever machine, but it actually has a pump inside the machine. When you bring the lever down into the down position, it actually locks and engages the pump for pre-infusion. The pump engages and pumps water through the coffee grind, and then you release the lever, and then the lever pushes the piston downwards to extract the espresso. So Bezerra has taken it one step further. In addition, the Bezerra Strega has a 58 millimeter commercial size group head, where the Olympia Cremina, the Electra, the Ponte Vecchios have whole model smaller group heads. Typically, these lever whole model espresso machines take about 15, 20 minutes to warm up. Uh, one of the key factors to look for when purchasing one of these lever machines uh, is the size of the boiler, the heftiness of the group head, and the reason is because the more brass, the more metal, the more water, the better the temperature stability, which adds to even a better espresso. So we mentioned the Bezerra Strega, that has a huge boiler, huge group head, that's gonna give you the best out of the lever machines in the home environment. But Electra also makes a very good machine. Uh, another one that uh, I didn't mention before, but another one is the uh, Pavoni machines, which are also uh, a non-spring uh, piston. Lock the portafilter handle into the group head nice and tight. Put a nice warm cup underneath the group head handle. Pull the lever down in the uh, down position. You actually have to use your left hand. This is my pet peeve, because I'm actually a righty. Again, hold the portafilter handle in place so it doesn't pop off. Once you have a few drips of espresso, that means the piston area is filled. And then we'll guide the lever up. And the spring piston is pushing, or the spring is actually pu pushing the piston down. And you get some really nice crema and a, a usually really good espresso uh, that, that gets extracted. So the benefit here is that that spring will give you the same amount of pressure every time at this point, then this point, then this point, and this point, and this point. Now the pressure is decreasing as the lever goes up because of the tension in the spring. So the maximum pressure is when the, when the lever is in a down position and the spring is the most compressed. That basically gives you consistency in the pressure from shot to shot at each step that the lever is going up. One safety thing to remember is not to take the portafilter off immediately after the extraction of the shot. 
The reason is no lever espresso machines. Piston, spring piston or non-spring, they don't have solenoid valves. So if you do take it off with, uh, before 10 to 20 seconds, the portafilter will go flying off and coffee grinds will splurt everywhere. So really important to wait 10 to 20 seconds before you remove the portafilter off after the espresso extraction. And with the non-spring piston lever machine, as you can see, the lever's in the down position. We need to bring the lever up and it could actually stay up by itself and wait for the steam pressure to put the water through the coffee grinds. There we go. Now I do have maximum control and it does take practice, but the failure rate is higher with uh, a non-spring piston machine. As you can see, I'm getting less crema. Now some people like to lift the lever, half, bring it halfway down and bring it back up and then get more espresso. And you could do this with the spring piston as well. But I'm using the same coffee, the same grinds. And if you notice, I am getting a, a little less crema. So in this case, I would have to adjust the grind to be a little finer. The, my hand pressure was good, but for this particular coffee, we would have to adjust. Just like any other machine, you go from one machine to another, you do have to adjust the coffee grind. Lever machines are not really the best for entertaining because again, you have to wait for taking the portafilter off. If you don't, here we did wait, but you will have an, a coffee explosion. Mm -hmm. But the quality espresso, when you get it right, is phenomenal in the flavor profile. Well, there you have it. The inside scoop on the lever espresso machines. Spring piston, non-spring piston. Better coffee quality in the cup, better espresso quality in the cup, better flavor profile in the cup, but you do need to know what you're doing. You do have limitations removing the portafilter, so it's not good for entertaining, and the left arm pushing and pulling or pulling and pushing the lever. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.